Eric Moore with Moore.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can be part of a massive move. So we're talking about stocks that go on a massive, massive. And of course, for a stock to go on a massive move, it normally takes months, sometimes years for there to be that type of a strong explosive move. Now, I'm going to show you a trick on how you can catch some of this move. You know, you don't have to catch all of it. You just want to catch some of this accelerated move. And there's a trick on how you can do that. And it does take some guts to be long some of these names, but I'll show you one simple trick. What you have to do, well, I guess you don't have to, but one thing you can do is take a look at where the stock is trading in relationship with RSI. And here I'm going to use the monthly because we are assuming the stock is going to do this strong move and outperform the market over a series of months, if not years. What you do, take the RSI on the monthly and every time the stock moves back above 69.1, you want to consider that a buying opportunity. So we are talking about explosive moves. Whenever you see a stock do something like this, it is this move. So all this moves back above the RSI level of 69.1 are buys. And I'll show you what I mean. So when it moves back above 69.1, now we are assuming that this black line is where the RSI 69.1 is. All this moves back above 69.1 are buys. A buy here, you buy here, you buy here. And one thing you'll notice that while all these were buys, during the buy signals that the stock was moving above 69.1, it also coincides with price accelerating so that's what you're going to observe prices are going to be exploding every time it moves back above 69.1 you get another explosion in price and that's what we are looking for we're looking to own part of the massive run and not the entire run or at least we want to be able to chase but have a reason to chase knowing that there's some valid foundation so let's talk Let's take a look at this chart. I'm talking about this particular instrument over a series of about six years or so. So in about six years or so, this Indian stock gained, believe it or not, thirty-five thousand percent. I mean that's an unbelievable number. Thirty-five thousand percent in about six years. And all we are looking for is a method that can give us part of this massive move. Not all of it. We, we don't want to be greedy, just part of it. And the method is, again, be on the lookout for whenever an explosive stock recaptures the RSI level back above 69.1. Let's take a look at that chart. And here it is. Take a look at this explosive run. You're talking from about six rupees all the way to the highs here above 2100 and again this is unless my math is wrong but i believe this is correct 35000 percent gain and what i'm going to show you here is the method i'm talking about where you could have owned part of this move or at least been able to ride some of this upside momentum before we do in fact, let's go back to that monthly chart. And it's hard to understand because you can see here all this price action between 2005 and about 2009 has been squeezed in there. But there was a lot of price volatility during this period. So let's zoom into this time period. And here what I have is a time period between 06 on a monthly chart and about, let's call it November, October 09. Okay, so one thing I want to stress here is the breakout, the initial breakout here. It's always good to go back and check the quality of the, because there's a lot to learn. So the price breaks out above the previous monthly closing high, right there. In fact, this month here. So that's a monthly price breakout, which meets our price breakout minimum requirement. And so let's take a look here what the MACDs and the RSIs were doing. So we're talking about this period here. 
so this period right I'm gonna get it right right here and you can see at the time RSI was jumping and this is important to understand RSI here moves to three year highs it also moves above 69.1 now that's a major major deal and again we see that the minimum requirements on the MACDs are met because the both MACDs we only need one to do this but here we have both MACDs moving to three-year highs all-time highs at the same time RSI here three-year highs above 69.1 and also all-time highs on the RSI that's a big deal moving to all-time highs on the RSI moving to all-time highs on the MACD that was a launching pad for this instrument when it was trading here at about six rupees or so so that's where this movement began okay so that meets the minimum requirement for the ultimate more the breakout and for those who are new I got lots of videos on this concept which I call the ultimate more the breakout so check out those videos on YouTube lots of videos discussing this concept and now that we know the stock did meet our minimum requirements somewhere there right there in late 09 doing that breakout there which is hard to see but we know it's true because we zoom in and we see the breakout which met the minimum requirements okay so everything checks it checks out now let's go and test that theory where we say you want to be buying the stock especially a strong stock when it moves back above 69.1 so here we can see that in late 09 it is coming close to breaking out again and when it moves back above 69.1 it's a buy so you can see here trading above 69.1 sometime in at the end of November 2009 let's fast forward to the end of December so one month later and take a look at the results the stock was up 22 to 23 percent maybe even more than the following month and here again your RSI is back above that magic number of 69.1 you get a chance of riding this nice monthly gain at the same time take a look at what the MACDs are doing RSI is above 69.1 MACDs are moving to fresh highs this is a sign of a superior instrument you want to keep tracking this okay so here's the monthly chart again let's zoom in zoom in here a little bit we can see all the instances here like for example so we talked about this re-entry in late 09 somewhere there instrument would move higher subsequently a huge gain and I'm talking about this gain here so it breaks out here late 09 take a look at this explosive move from about 9 all the way to 28 take a look at the next time it drops below 69.1 and recaptures it here back above 69.1 in let's call it early 2011 we're talking about this re-entry here you see another explosive run so you would have had a chance of owning part of that move again let's move forward here you can see another move here below 69.1 and back above it in early 2012 so we're talking about a re-entry somewhere here between uh, let's call it the higher 30s stock would go on to trade as high as the 115 110 level in the subsequent months so there again another example of the re-entry back above 69.1 now it's important to note here that after this re-entry above 69.1 and that was at the price here we are talking about in the let's call it the between 30 to 35 the stock generally stayed above that level until here and that was good enough to keep the stock trading as high as 300 so from th from 30 to 300 with the RSI holding above 69.1 and that's why I always say you want to own stocks trading above 69.1 because that is the sweet spot now here we have a drop for one month just one month 
below 69.1 and then back above it for this re-entry here in the let's call it the 200 price range stock would go on to trade as high as 400 and above so let's fast forward this again and what we see here when we fast forward even one year later after this re-entry somewhere here the stock maintains its RSI well above 69.1 and now the price is not in the lower 200s the price has gone as high as 1100 all because the RSI remains above 69.1 throughout the 2014 to 2015 annual year so let's fast forward again and now we are at the tail end of 2015 the stock has just dropped back below 69.1 after spending all this time from mid 2013 prices here of about just above 200 and now they've gone as high as 1700 so let's get that right so stocks gone as high as 1700 in the in the intermediate period now back above 60 back below 69.1 let's fast forward to the current monthly chart and you can see that the stock recaptured the level back above 69.1 in early part of 2016 so we're talking about here in the 1300s and since then it's gone on to trade as high as 2100 so again we see here a perfect example of why if you want to chase momentum and a stock pulls back you want to be a buyer every time it moves back above 69.1 on its monthly RSI you do that and don't ask questions you might have a chance of writing some of this re-entry the re-entry here re-entry here re-entry here re-entry here and also this re-entry recently here when the stock was moving above 69.1 and again you also want to insist that the stock meets the minimum requirements for the ultimate more the breakout because that also cues you in as regards the quality of the breakout. Eric Mwadha with Mwadha.com. As always, good luck. Peace and blessings. E A C S. Woo! Eric Mwadha with Mwadha.com. And.